Hey guys, here we are with a really quick part three of our fabric embellishments. Uh, scrap, I'm calling these scrappy patches. They are pretty cute, little, literally little leftover pieces of plain canvas that when you're doing other things you would normally throw away. And I'm just taking them and um, most of mine are cut into geometric shapes, squares and rectangles, and I changed my machine out to turquoise thread and I'm literally freeform stitching all the way around the edge three, four, five times, something like that, very messily to create a little patch of fabric that's really interesting that could be stamped on or used in fabric collage or added to a journal page. And I wanted to sit with a bunch of my um, scraps and make a, a stack of these to have on hand, which I did. Uh, next I'm going to show you how to use these to make a little piece of halfway art that you could um, add to a journal page, add to a cover. Um, it could of course stand alone as is. If you don't know what halfway art is, I'm going to show you, I'll put the link in the description below to what I um, called my halfway art storage box. Um, and they're just little mini collages of mixed media goodness. I don't know what else to call them. So I am at first thinking I'm going to sew this. So I'm grabbing bits and pieces and laying them on the sewing machine. And as you'll see in just a minute, I end up pushing the sewing machine out of the way and getting out my Tim Holtz tiny attacher and stapling it. I love the look industrial kind of messy look of staples and I love combining them with stitching and other things. I love the way they look. I've been asked about the stapler a lot recently. It is by Ranger. It's a Tim Holtz tiny attacher. You should be able to get it at any arts and crafts store. Look for the Ranger section and they should have it there. Uh, use a coupon because it's not super cheap. So here's a piece of uh, leftover painted canvas from uh, my little uh, canvas art dolls, art spirit dolls that are available in my Etsy shop. And I don't throw any of the scraps away. So there I've stapled the straws on and we're going to add the little piece of fabric and we're going to add a little piece of clear plastic packaging that is from um, another video that I did and I I save clear packaging and I color on it there with straw uh, sharpies and then blend it with alcohol ink I have a bunch of those too I usually do them also in batches to have them for this kind of thing and then I, I grabbed a word card from the Tim Holtz words deck I don't know exactly what it's called but it's another Ranger product and I'm going to staple it all together. I'm thinking at first I'm done and then I'm like, hmm, wait a minute. <laughs> and I grab some really cute turquoise, light turquoise colored um, pom-pom trim and attach that off also with staples. So I just, this little series is just to show you what you can do with little bits and pieces, found objects, packaging materials, what you have laying around to create some interesting art or embellishments for your art. So look around and see what you have. Have some fun. Create some interesting things. Maybe set up a trade with your friends. Don't forget to check out my video description for all my, my links to Facebook groups and my Etsy shop. Have a great day, everybody, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later.